and hello everybody welcome to this brand new art snacks unboxing this this year this month i got my box earlier than last time and i was so looking forward to start working with these because this time yeah it's not exactly a blind unboxing mostly because every time they send out a new box then they proceed to reblog and re-Facebook and retweet every single person who opened their box and they all get it before me. So might as well get started. We have our little menu as usual. I'll be reading off of it every time I pull out something. And the first item out of the box is a uh, blah, 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 Legion paper. Legion We Are paper. Handcrafted with a watercolorist in mind, this rugged and textured sub straight is our latest creation in artisan paper. Each cold press sheet naturally receives applied moisture making it ideal for blending and lifting color. This is Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press. Ooh. And look how much of a sample I have. This is going to be so fun. So already we know this time I'm not going to test on one of my normal sketch cards. I'm going to test on one of these. What does the menu say about this? It's a bonus item. Besides that, we started with the bonus. Who knew? Haha, -ha, I did. Uh, we can see why Stonehenge's new Aqua Cold Press watercolor paper has been getting incredible reviews. Good start. This paper can handle an amazing amount of water without warping or buckling, and it's also great for blending and lifting color. Basically, same thing I just read. Hmm. Next, we have a little Art Snack sticker. I was hoping I'd get one of those. I didn't use the tattoo from last time. Now this, here we go. Now I can take it out of the bag. This is menu, menu, menu. Marabou. Mixed Media Art Spray, new to Art Snacks. And while you're looking at the bottle, I'm gonna be here. Uh, ready to try something totally different with your next art project? Marabou Mixed Media Art Spray is a water-based acrylic that can blend with other colors. It's ideal for use with stencils or as a surface primer for colorful creations. You'll get different effects depending on how close you spray and the angle of the sprayer over the paper. So basically, it's a pump action airbrush. There. <laughs> I'm gonna move this and uh, there's a little card talking about the next special edition studio collection. These are expensive but there's a reason for that. Like there's tons of stuff in the special editions. And now <laughs> Share your unboxing with us. I will, I will. I'm working on that right now as we speak. Nice little green paper this time. So what do we have here? Uh, oh, you are for later. And this uh, is not very clear. Okay, it's the Pento, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one here, there. Let's see. The Pentel Touch. It's a brush pen, one of those teeny tiny ones. I'm not that big a fan of those teeny tiny brush pens. You're not gonna focus, eh? No? Okay. Not really a big fan of these. I'm still gonna try it. Not a big fan of the color or the shape. It kind of looks like an old pen that I used to have when I was a kid and I was a kid in the 80s so that gives you an idea but it's a Pentel could surprise me Pentel has good stuff now this one this big giant oh I forgot to read the little menu sorry Pentel art sign pen brush depending on how you hold it the Pentel art sign pen brush can give you the most delicate of fine lines Ooh -hoo -hoo. Or it can lay down a bold line. Ho ho ho. Adjust the pen tip angle and pressure just a little, little and see how versatile this tool is. It's great for lettering. The one thing I can't do. 
This pen brush also features water-based ink. So that means if I use water on it, it's going to have a nice little watercolory effect like I usually do with my pilot brush pen. And uh, there we go. Now, this is one I was looking forward to show you guys. The Molotow, Molotow, Molotow Aqua Pump Soft Liner. I am reading this directly off the screen. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. It has a semi-transparent barrel over here that you can see how much ink you have left. And bad enough, I already have tiny hands. This pen is huge! And the nib is kind of like my water brush. And according to the menu that I'm going to read in a couple seconds, it's pumped action. So the pump action I'm going to do off camera because it's going to take forever. There we go. Molotow, Moloto, Molati, Maladis, Graphics Aqua Ink P <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> I choked on nothing. I am going to die. Ink Pump Soft Liner. The Molotow Graphics Aqua Pump Ink Pump Soft Liner features water-based ink and a soft brush tip, as we just saw. This tool will stay with you for the long term. Look at the size of this. You can refill the ink and you can even swap out the tip. To begin using your Molotow, shake it well. Pump the brush softly using the tip of the marker cap until you see ink seeping into the brush tip. Scribble until the tip is fully colored and then you're ready to draw. Well, at least now we got the shaking done, we're going to pump it later. And now the thing I was saving for last before the obligatory candy. The Plum Chester. The difference with this little guy is, is that it's a Nart Snacks exclusive. For the last few months, we've been working on our very own brand of art supplies. Yee! Introducing Plumchester, creative tools for the modern artist. Our first product is the Plumchester 1.5... One day I am going to learn to talk. 1.5... Fine brush pen. Look at this. Look at this. It's like a mascara. Look at this. An eyeliner. That's how often I put makeup on people. I can't do, make the difference between a mascara and an eyeliner. I am so looking forward to try this one. It looks like it's going to be spongy instead of uh, fibery or that weird excessively good pilot brush pen nib. I just hope it's not going to be spongy like the Copic because Copics tend to gather fiber at the tip after 1.5 seconds of drawing. The diameter of the firm nib is 1.5 mill millimeters, as I just said five seconds earlier on the menu, and it will spring back to its original shape after use. That's good. The ink in this pen is pigmented. That's also good. Fade proof and waterproof when dry. A soft touch will give you a finer mark, but use a heavy touch for thicker lines, just like with every single brush pen in the universe. Plumchester will officially launch in 2017. To stay updated, go to www.plumchester.com and submit your email address. <laughs> I will put the link in the description. And finally, and this I was super happy when I saw this, this month's candy is sweet tarts in rocket form or in the states in smarties form and i love rockets and i love sweet darts i am going to probably love this and in fact i am going to have one right now a little green one hop mm. man i love these mm. want to make me happy send me a truckload of these i like me some chalky candy mm. Mm, this is good. And now, because I opened the box early, because I kind of had no choice of knowing what was in it, I have the test card ready. I can't grab it. There! <laughs> it's a pencil sketch of Lon Chaney Jr. as the Wolfman. It's going to be done in the cherry-like color and aqua as well as black and we'll see the results once we're done i will be right back 
wit. The fast motion video of the work. Now I will admit real quick, as you could see in the very early part of the video, I cheated a little bit. I used a uh, frisket film to cover Lon Chaney while I was doing the spray part and then I kind of cooked quote unquote the spray part using my heat pen to make sure to do the video on time or else the drying time would have been way too long. Well, here's the review. This didn't like it. <laughs> Simply put, it went on really dry, so I decided to kind of use it as a shadowing. I did not like it at all. Felt cheap. Went on cheap. Not a fan. So if I have to buy another pen, I'm not buying this one. Simple as that. The paper felt really good drawing on it felt really good painting on it. I would recommend it personally. I don't know how well it does not buckle when on a bigger surface, but at least on this little one it buckled only when I passed it under my heat gun when I dried up the uh, the pink ink. And then it went right back into shape. Look at that. Barely a little curve and I just need to hold it under a book to get it back to normal. The spray, it went on exactly as I expected, which is why I picked uh, Lon Chaney, because the choice was either Lon or Christopher Lee as Dracula, because I knew it was going to do a uh, spatter pattern the way I wanted to do it, and it did beautifully. So this, you like splatter pattern, because I don't really expect to get an even coat, especially not with a pump action like this, because there's always going to be a little bit stuck to the, uh, the opening. The Molotov. Molotov. Manatee. This. Look at the beautiful covering on this. I wouldn't really recommend it for fine work because the ink comes out really quickly. It, but then again, it's probably gravity because, I mean, look at the size of this. But for a large covering, it's absolutely beautiful. And finally, let me put this down. The Plumchester. The Plumchester... It's 50-50, but the second 50 is not a bad 50. The thing is, it has a very strong nib. So what happened is that as I was drawing, it felt very scratchy, but not a bad scratchy. It's kind of hard to explain. It was like very comfortable drawing with it. And even if it caught on the tooth of the paper, it never feathered. It never like went in and then suddenly... <laughs> and get a wrong line. I don't know if you can see. I got some very lovely fine lines with this. So I I do like it. I like it a lot actually and I'm looking forward to when it's going to be officially released in 2017 because I would like to see some more sizes. I don't really want them to fix the scratchy thing because like I said it's catch it's sc <coughs> sorry it's scratchy but it's not catchy you still get an even line it's a very very sturdy nib I'm I'm very happy with it I usually don't like scratchy pens or scratchy pencils especially not scratchy pencils but uh, I am a very very pleasantly surprised and satisfied with this pen about as much as I am with the candy. I think this is going to be going into my uh, my carry-on. There, right there. It's in. Perfect. Carrying this one with me. Molotown, not so much because it's very messy, but it's going in the, my usual markers and stuff like that. I really like it. This is more of a once, once, twice thing. Depends what I want to do. Probably if I draw more zombies, I'll use it more often. Or if I want some special effects again with my frisket. All in all, except for the Pentel, I am very happy with this month's products. Very happy. And I made a nice little launching. Quick note, quick note. This is really just thingy. That uh, 
The size they picked is a little bigger than their regular sketch card. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. And uh, thank you again for uh, watching this video. If you'd like, uh, comment, like, subscribe, the usual. And uh, the more you like, the more you comment, the more you tell me what you want to see on the Art Snacks unboxing, because I'm I'm still subscribed. I really like getting these uh, supplies to test for all. The more videos I can make. Like yesterday I made a needle felting video, today I'm making this video. Don't know if I'll make more videos this week or this month, really. <laughs> Unless you want a video about, I got my flinch on Thursday. I don't think you want to see that. But uh, thank you very much. I love you all. Have a lovely day.